So today we are going to talk about compound indexes in MongoDB. But before I go ahead, just a reminder, if you do not know what are indexes in MongoDB, what is the data structure behind it, I will highly recommend you to go ahead and see my video on MongoDB indexes. You can see a card over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what are compound indexes because if you are creating a production level database, it is highly likely that you will end up creating one or even more than one compound indexes. So let's go ahead and start. But before that, let me ask this question. Why we create indexes? We create indexes for faster query. If you are using MongoDB to query some data, not to just dump the data, which nobody is going to look for years, then you will end up using indexes because without indexes, the query will not be fast. In fact, it will be so slow that MongoDB may not be a database of choice. So that's the precise reason we create indexes and compound indexes means indexes which are based on more than one field in your document. Indexes which are based on more than one fields in your document is called compound indexes. More than one means it could be two, three, four. And at the time of recording this video, the limit is 31, but I don't think anybody goes that far. Okay, until and unless there is a very specific requirement. Let me show you a database and here is how the database looks like. It is a document with two fields, name and country. So there is name one, two, three, four, five, and there is five countries I am creating right now. Okay, USA, India, UK, Germany, and Finland. So in the database, I am going to show you the database in the MongoDB compass, but basically there will be 10,000 records, 10,000 names scattered through these five countries. So this is my database. But before we go ahead and see the database in MongoDB compass, let me tell you how the compound index will look like. So in this particular case, if I want to create compound index, since there are only two fields, we can create compound index only on two fields, that is name and country. But how it will look like if I create compound index with name and country and country and name? Yes, there is a difference and the sequence does matter. So if I create a compound index with name and country, one means ascending order, it means that first the MongoDB will create an index, a sorted form in the form of name and within each and every name, they will have country as a sorted form. So this is name one and this is the country. Now I know that in the example where names are unique, this doesn't make any sense. I know that I'm just showing you how the index will be created. Okay. And if you go ahead and create index on country as well as name, here is how it will look like. It will you know, allocate country in the ascending order. You can see Finland, Germany, India, UK, US. And inside these countries, there will be names associated with that country. So for Finland, if there are 2000 records, it will be sorted in order of one to 10. Now we understand how the compound index looks like. What is the benefit of it? So let's go ahead, see a database and try to understand what is the benefit of it. So here is my MongoDB compass and you can see that there are 10,000 records at this moment of time and it has name and country. You can see different, different names and country. So what is the purpose of index? Let me search name as, you know, take, uh, let me take any name, name 012 for example. Let me search this name. I got this name and if I go ahead and see what is the statistics of this particular search? We can see that, you know, 10,000 records were searched, only one records is retrieved. So 10,000 records were searched and no indexes are available for this query. Similarly, if I go ahead and, you know, use country field and I say UK, and if I explain this, 2,000 records were returned out of 10,000 search. So there are 2,000 records with country as UK and to retrieve this 2,000 records, we searched 10,000 documents. So this is the place where indexes come into picture. So let me create an index for country, for example. So let me create an index for country ascending and I have created the index. And if I go ahead and run this particular query again, and if I go ahead and see explain plan, 
you can see that this particular index is being used and only 2000 records were searched okay now what if i want to search country as uk and let me check a name name 012 and i want name to be this one name 012 okay so what can i do if i find it you can see in explain plan that you know we have checked 2000 record and only one document is retrieved okay so 2000 record because you know uh, there are 2000 country and each and every country the name was searched okay now let me go back to the original search where i am searching uh, country as uk okay and i am actually doing a sorting on name okay i am sorting on name field in the ascending order so this is my complete query what i am trying to do is that i am fetching data with country as uk and sorting all the names that are there in the particular criteria that meets the particular criteria so if i go ahead and run this particular uh, query and see the explain uh, for this we can see that 2000 documents were examined because there were 2000 names okay and to sort that they access 2000 name and it took 34 odd milliseconds this is the place where compound indexes comes into picture and believe me it is very very helpful and this is not the only huge case but this is a very big huge case let me create a compound index with country ascending and name ascending now when i create this index it is written that it is a compound index now i go ahead i run the same query once again and if i go ahead and see the explain you can see execution time is 0 millisecond of course it has to access 2000 records document to sort that but execution time is drastically different and if you see the index it will say that it has accessed compound index which is name and country okay so what happens that for situation like this if you create an index you can create index it's a b3 data structure right it will store index in sorted order right if you create compound index the sequence matter the first index will be stored in sorted order then the second index within that is stored in sorted order third index and so on and so forth so since it is already stored in sorted order then they do not need to sort it right and that's the reason mongodb can return you the result within fraction of the time it took without using compound index now the sequence does matter if i remove this particular index uh, let me remove this index and let me create an index with the reverse order which means name and then country okay this is also a compound index but if i go ahead and run the same query i get the same result no doubt but if i go ahead and see the execution it has examined 10000 records okay even the query is used by following compound index but if we just change the sequence the result is drastically different okay so this is the purpose of compound index i know this is a very simple example but this example is only meant to explain you the purpose of compound index and some of the situation under which it helps us a lot i hope and believe that i was able to explain the idea and concept behind compound index in the easiest possible way thank you all thanks for watching we will definitely meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care